when you open the Brilliance program, the first thing you see is your hoop in your display area. And you can customize this to the hoop that you're going to use by going to the Preferences, selecting your format from the pull-down menu, and choosing the hoop that you're going to use for this project. As you notice, all the hoops are in metric. When you have a hoop selected, it shows you what is approximate inch size. So it's a perfect combination of embroidery and quilting. Select your hoop and click apply. Click OK to close the preferences and you now see your hoop displayed in your program. When you look at the upper left corner, you will see that you have a toggle for millimeters or for inches. So you can set your program display to be in the measurement that you want. To create our design layout from the AccuQuilt dies, we'll want to use the Merge Design or Merge Library Design function in our program. This will open a dialog box that allows us to choose the AccuQuilt die collection from the pull down menu in the upper left corner. And all of the dies are shown in the left column here. Select the die that you're going to work with. Click on the shapes that you are going to want to combine into your design page and you can select multiple ones by using the control key on your keyboard. When they are selected click OK and your design shapes are placed in the center of your hoop. The object pane here on the right shows you the order that the objects are going to be stitched in and that is the layering of your dies. So we have our lower flower, the center star, and the small circle. The lower right pane shows the colors of the design in their stitching order. Selecting the applique tab allows you to change the properties for the current selection. From the border pull down menu, choose the finishing stitch that you would like for your embroidery design. Adjustments to the stitch properties are done using the slider bars. The program also allows you to see a fabric preview. When you select any object, the fabric preview is shown and that is generated from the applique position color. To change this to a different color, simply click on the color chip, choose your favorite thread family from the pull down menu, and select a new color from the list of colors that are available. Each die shape will have two distinct colors. Our embroidery machines stop at a color change, so even if you use the same thread color at the machine, having two different colors in the design file tells the machine to stop for placement of your pre-cut design fabric. Each shape in your design page can be adjusted individually by selecting that shape and using the rotate button or moving it anywhere that you want in the specific design page. Once you have your layered shape created, you may want to group it so that you can now move it as an entire unit. To do that, select all the shapes that you want to be grouped together, go to the edit menu and choose to group them. Now, when you select any of these shapes that you have grouped, they are all together as one. They may be copy and pasted on your design page using the shortcut buttons here at the top so that you can create your design layout using the same properties and the same shapes that you currently had already set. To add additional shapes to our design page, we will use the same process as we did in the beginning. Select the Merge Library Design, choose your uh, catalog from the pull down menu, Select the die from the list in the left and select the shapes from that die that you want to add to your design page. As before, the shape is placed in the center of your design page. Again, you will want to set your stitch properties for your shape and because color is so important, you'll want to choose colors that will work with your project. The beauty of using the simulated fabric on the design page is that you can move and rotate your shapes in the software the same as if you were creating the layout with actual pre-cut fabric. Newly added shapes are placed at the end of the stitching order and can be rearranged by right clicking on the selected object and choosing when you want it to stitch. 
Because you see the actual layout on screen, it's very easy to be creative. Watch your design come to life as you add and arrange new elements. One of the time-saving features of Embrilliance Essentials is the ability to use existing colors by choosing the current page thread palette. Once you have chosen the specific colors for your design, there's no need to search for them any further. They are easily accessible by selecting the thread palette. Copying and pasting objects will retain all of the object design properties. Be mindful of your fabric layers as you develop your design layout and set the order in your object pane by right clicking or dragging and dropping the selections to the appropriate location. Once you have completed your design layout, you will want to save your work as both a working file for future editing in the software, as well as a stitch file to use at your embroidery machine. This is done in one step using the Save As dialog. 